Hi, my name is Tandy and we're here with Amy True. Um, hi. Hello. Um, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. I'm a little bit tired. You're a little bit tired? Oh, okay, okay. We're going to try and get this interview out of you, though. That's okay. Perfect, perfect. Um, you are a singer and a rapper. Yeah. And something that I want to, like, clarify to everyone out there is that Amy True actually blends both. She doesn't just like sing one minute and the next minute she just raps. She actually blends the two together and it just, sometimes it freaks me out and I'm just like, oh, like that's different. And in some respect, that's actually quite refreshing. Mm -hmm. Like that's what makes you different. Like is, this, is there a reason why you particularly like do that? Uh, because I like to. Um, I'm not really a manufactured artist. So what I do, it just comes organically and natural. You're involved in um, the Cats and Press. Yeah. Um, I like that. I like the name Caxton Press. I like yeah. the idea of it because um, obviously it came from William Caxton and That's the right. printing press and everything. Yeah. Um, can you tell me like a lot more of like your involvement in the Caxton Press? Because one, you're the only girl yeah. I've noticed, and that must be a little bit hard with the testosterone uh, like, around. I can handle it. <laughs> like I've been a bit of a tomboy most of my life, so being around other guys is okay. And obviously, when they've got respect for you at the same time, and you're working with people who are on an equal frequency, then there's, it's not a problem. Yeah. You know, we all respect each other for each other's talents and what mind state and where we want to be with our music. So it works. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, you guys went. You went on tour with People's Army in 2010. Yeah. Um, that was like that was for uh, Free Palestine. Yeah, that was to um, help support that cause. Uh, we went to Birmingham. That was the first year that I uh, joined up with People's Army. Uh, English Frank, who was Frantic Frank at the time, uh, I got hold of him on Facebook and he uh, checked out some of my old videos uh, and he asked to, if I would like to come to a People's Army session. Yeah. Uh, that's where I met uh, Logic, Nate, Big Cakes, uh, No Lay and a load of other artists as well. So like even 2010, just like your talent literally grew, like it's grown from then. And in my opinion, like it showed a lot more like of who you are as an individual and yeah. you didn't shy away from being well, involved in yeah. people's army. Well, I was, I was very happy and very grateful to be part of a musical movement and to also be around talented individuals who actually give a damn about the society that they're living in and yeah. they're not trying to force this suppressed ideology onto people. Um, it was just so refreshing and so naturally you're all going to grow as artists together and it makes you feel stronger because when you're on that path of uh, talking conscious lyrics, mm. sometimes it can seem very uh, a lonely road and that, you know, you're always going to believe that but sometimes, you know, when you hear other artists on the same thing as well, it just keeps you grounded and it just is lovely, it's just the best. Well, for me, what I noticed when I was looking through like YouTube videos as well, you were you were like all involved in rapping on the tour bus, on the stairs, I believe as well, in the corridor bits yeah. and the sides. Yeah. Were you just coming up with all of this? Like, Well, we all, we've all, I don't know. I think for most of us, I know myself, we've all been writing our feelings down for a long time. Yeah. Uh, like, you know, before we, before we even thought of ourselves as artists, we, that's what we were doing. And, you know, and so when you all come together as a collective, you're on the bus and you're all gonna enjoy each other's energies. And that's how people grow together, you know? That's just, it just happens organically. Like a lot of the stuff was written, some people are freestylers, some yeah. people write, you know? Either way, like on the tour bus, you're going on the way to a gig, uh, you're gonna wanna enjoy the time and you're gonna wanna share each other's bars and, you know, lyrics with each other. Yeah. How long have you been writing for? Cause for me, like, it, it, it takes quite a lot for someone, for me to like write something down and something that makes sense. How long have you been writing for to, for everything to just be perfect? Uh, for me, it's still not perfect, <laughs> but then that's just me. I'm very uh, yeah. hard on myself. Mm. But uh, probably 17, someone gave me my first notepad. Uh, I'm quite an emotional person and I'm very expressive. Yeah. I speak on how I feel. I don't ever hold it in. I let it out and then, then it's, you know, then I've dealt with it and I move on to the next. Uh, so I just started writing my feelings down. I didn't really know how to structure a song. Uh, but when I did start writing songs, I was always using a kind of old school structure. Like I listened to a lot of Motown and so it would be, and I studied English at school. I was quite good at English literature and language. Yeah. So that helps. And just really being very passionate about how you feel on what you're writing about just helps. And after time, you know, it just, it comes through. You could, like I said to you earlier, you can only get better at something. If you're not, then there's something wrong. Yeah, yeah. Um, are you working on like your solo material right now, like an album coming up? 
Um, yeah. We're looking forward to something like that. Yeah, yeah. Well, hopefully this summer you'll see a lot more of my solo material. Uh, we also have a second Caxton Press album coming out uh, this year, but also uh, each artist from the Caxton Press, like Manage, Killer, yeah. Kingpin and myself, we're all working on solo material, which I think is uh, it's needed because we're all solo artists before we come to the group. Yeah. You need to go away and you need to work on your own as an independent artist to grow uh, individually. And then when you come back to the group and do group stuff, you know, you're, you're different as a group then because that's the only way you can evolve and elevate yeah. you have to take time out for yourself and certain uh music that you do on your own that you like might not fit for caxton press caxton press we like a particular sound mm. but then we've all got different mentalities on other things like you know i do a lot of singing i want to do more like soul singing i like indie music i like i like a lot of other different stuff like yeah. i'm working with a band at the moment um so uh yeah i hopefully hopefully it will be an album but yeah. i've got like about I've got so many tracks, I'm just, I'm very, yeah. Is there something that we're going to expect, like, different from the album, like, from Amy True? Is there something new that we're going to be expecting? Um, I think, uh, musically, yes and no, but it's still going to be me. I've not changed into any sort of fake way. I'm just me, but I think better, with yeah. a better head on my shoulders, with more knowledge, with more experience. Yeah, I still give a shit. I'm still very passionate, so that's always going to be there. Yeah. Um, earlier on, I spoke to you, and you were talking to me about helping young people within your community, how yeah. you tried to reach out to them before, yeah. and you, you moved. So when you moved, that yeah. became incredibly different, like, and you were actually able to like, com communicate with young people a lot more. Um, is that the case now? or I always was able to communicate with young people. Um, in my town... Um, there's not, there wasn't really a lot to do, so I would like organise events. Uh, I was an uh, ambassador of the youth in my town for a while where we organised events. Like The council give us a little bit of money to put on shows and stuff. Yeah. Uh, people from like broken homes, I would help mentor them to uh, channel their negative energy through positive music and expression because that's something that they take away from you as a young person to stop you from expressing yourself. They make you channel it through like you know fashion or just being a butthole or, you know, suppressing your own mind with like these stereotypes of what they think you should be. Yeah. Like they don't actually give you a place to vent it out. And I went to see my local MP and I said to her, I want uh, some sort of funding to build a proper youth centre with proper facilities, with proper young mentors that like, you know, people that might even have been in jail before coming and give proper talks, like young people who have do, do music, like break dancing, graffiti art. It's not an old lady and a pool table, like no offense, but you know what I mean? Like yeah. kids need some people to relate to. I was always, uh, the youth always listened to me in my area. Like growing up, I wasn't well behaved. I went through like lots of madness. Yeah. So they kind of, looked up to me for that, unfortunately, for the bad reasons. But then when they saw that I started being a different person, it was, uh, it, I don't know, it was just, I don't know, it was easier for me to reach to them because I see, I see where they're coming from as well, with people who go through down, uh, bad routes. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. No, I'm rambling. I'm tired. <laughs> Not at all. Um, you're talking about having a live band. Do you play any instruments by any chance? Uh, I play the drums a little. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like to do that. How long have you been playing the drums for? Uh, since my mum was dropping me off to school two hours early and I was breaking into the music room. Wow. Yeah. Wow. It's crazy. The, the drum, the, te the music teacher would come in and he would have a go at me or he would like blame me for like playing something out of beat and that like he wouldn't... Like, it's funny how they never want you to just do what you want to do yeah. and then guide you on that. They always want to keep you in a box. Okay. Mm. Is there anywhere like we can find you on Facebook, Twitter, that sort of thing, your web own website? Uh, yeah, we've got the Caxton Press website, which is www.caxtonpresshiphop.com. Uh, I'm on Facebook, Amy True Caxton. And uh, yeah, also my solo material will be released through uh, the Caxton Press website as well. Uh, iTunes, Amazon, you can get the Caxton Press Shame the Devil album. And uh, yeah. Okay, it was a pleasure to meet you. And I hope that the album goes incredibly well. And we look forward to just hearing your new material. Okay, thank, thank you. you very much. All right, peace.